We're here to finish the debate. Is overhead press good, bad, cool, or not? Dr. Mike Isru tells us it's not great for building delts. My boy Omar Esau says it's the coolest lift for a lifting enthusiast. And I'm gonna tell you the truth, how to build your shoulders and what the overhead press is good or not good for. We'll go through the checklist. I'm somewhere in the middle and I know that isn't what y'all wanna hear because you want me to take sides like everything else in this stupid internet space. That's not who I am, I'm the honest man. If you wanna increase your bench press, give a little check mark, we should build shoulder strength. But we probably shouldn't build the OHP per se. If you want to build your shoulders, we should train an overhead position, but probably not the standing OHP. Now, if you're a weightlifter, a strong man, or an overall gym enthusiast, I think OHP is probably at the top of the list. It's very difficult, it's hard to pursue, it builds your entire body's uh, connection and, and stability to press something heavy overhead, which is like the most difficult thing to do. There's lack of stability everywhere and you gotta get rigid in your core, tight glutes, tight quads, and it builds your pressing strength. But again, that doesn't really transfer or is the best to build the delt itself to look good or to build your bench press. Let me show you some of my favorite movements to actually help build the biggest shoulders you got. OHP for bodybuilding, I'd probably just ignore. If you're doing standing barbell overhead or standing dumbbell overhead, I think you're probably wasting your time on building your delt. Side lateral from a cable, even like a Y raise, which I'll show you, or a heavy press is best done with stability. So a machine, a uh, regular chair dumbbell press can work so you have a back to keep you stable and then we can really focus on building the shoulders themselves. And that's kind of it when I'm talking about building the muscle. Talking about weightlifting uh, and strongman, especially strongman, you have to get used to throwing a bunch of things overhead. So getting generally strong at doing overhead, using your kinetic chain, stability, rigidity with the barbell overhead will translate to the axle, to the circus press and all the different overheads you have to do, which I think is great. Same idea when we're talking about weightlifting. They obviously have to catch with locked out stacked arms and the snatch and the clean and jerk, but the stronger you can make those muscles surrounding the joints, the more comfortable you're gonna be doing that. Although they won't be able to strict press what they clean and jerk, it's gonna be heavier. It'll still allow for the stability and the comfort overhead positioning. So standing dumbbell, standing OHP, I think are great for weightlifters, strong men, maybe even a core piece that should be a pillar in their training. Talking and power lifting, Law of specificity always applies. If you want to be a good bench presser, you got to bench press. Focusing too much on the overhead or other movements is probably a waste of time. We do want to build our shoulders, and there's some people that have success with the overhead press translating to their bench. But generally speaking, the kinetic chain is too long. There's too much instability to really focus on your pressing. And again, the technique of overhead versus an actual bench are completely different movements. So I'd focus on more building your joint and your muscles like a bodybuilder and then focusing on the bench press itself like the skill in an athlete. Last piece is general athletics and I love the standing overhead for a lot of people. We'll do standing push presses with a medicine ball for kind of our plows and our power. We might do something like a push press, a uh, slight uh, momentum dumbbell press standing or overhead and then we'll build the muscle itself through lateral raises. So when I'm talking about athleticism, we kind of have those three tiers that we focus on, building the muscle, translating into strength, and then strength and muscle translating into power and moving medium weights fast. Those are kind of the categories I look like when we're talking to OHP. Doesn't make it good, doesn't make it bad, but it probably makes it suit for your goal, for your task, better or worse, depending on your overall goal. So if you're more like me, or maybe even Omar Esau, and you just love training, you're a barbell, fitness enthusiast right now, I kind of train like a power builder for lack of a better cliche term. I train my barbells a little bit heavier. I like to do singles, doubles, triples in the squat bench dead. Overhead press has just never been my favorite movement, although I love pressing heavy overhead. I just don't do the OHP in specific. So I'll do my barbell movements, sets of one to three, then everything else is sets of six to 10, close to failure, more bodybuilding, hypertrophy driven. I am currently cutting, so all that just works great. And for your training, you can build muscle, you can build strength, a million ways, it's just really what you enjoy, what you want to compete in, and then how long term you can stick to it. And if you're having fun, you're gonna be way more likely to stick to it long term. So for me, it works. Heavy bench press, a little bit of machines to catch some hypertrophy. I'll do some accessories afterwards with my delts and my tries, catch a nice pump. But for you, don't let anyone judge you what you do or don't want to do. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. But if you are trying to be elite or competitive in certain sports, in certain positions, 
there's different exercises that you can implement that are probably more optimal for what you're looking like. Man, 3SB.co, one of our biggest drops coming very, very soon. We got hoodies, sweats, everything available on the website. I appreciate you. Goodcompanydiscord.com. Be a part of something big in yourself, y'all, man. We over me, Solomon Mike, I'm out.